few years ago, I went out to Japan and I got to experience some absolutely amazing units, garages, full of cars, full of memorabilia. And I never ever thought that I'd find that in the UK, let alone in the town that I live in. <laughs> but Violent D moved in and Craig has been kind enough to show me around today. And I have to show you guys this because it is amazing. Any Japanese car fan and well, car fan in general out there is gonna love this. So follow me inside and we'll check it out. So we are inside of the man himself, Craig Weston, Violent D. How are you, sir? <laughs> I'm good, man. You? Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to come down and show off your, your workspace, right, your unit. This no is problem. so, so cool. And we've got <laughs> so much to show the people in here. Um, I think they're really, really going to love to see it. I would love to start off, though, with just introducing yourself, saying what you do here. And... Yep, sure thing, man. Um, my name's Craig Weston. I own a company called Violent D. Um, we've been doing this since 2006 solely in the drift scene um so yeah we was kind of early doors on uk drifting so to speak um i just love cars i love drifting anything motor motorsport in general i love um obviously we own quite a few of cars i've sold quite a few cars so yeah man we were uh, we're heavily invested so to speak in in uh, in the drift scene um, I just I just love everything about it. So I first met you when you moved to Colchester, right? Where did you move in from? Well, we was always South East London. We was, we was, that's where we was all yeah. my life, South East London. Um, and we moved here probably four years ago, um, just for the fact of I've owned so many Japanese cars. And at one point there was like seven cars <laughs> down the road. You know, we had, we had S12s, we yeah. had 14s, we had Chasers, all sorts yeah. of stuff, like all down the road. And uh, I needed a space like this to yeah. house what I've got. Um, that being said, we're a little bit more sensible nowadays. We've kind of <laughs> dropped Toy's car, my new car, my car's being built elsewhere. So we're down to three now. So we're, it's a sensible number. To it's keep. a manageable number. It's a man <laughs> Especially when you, you, you do what you do with them, because That's right. I can speak from experience as well that drifting is not cheap. Um, especially in the modern prices oh. that we're experiencing. It's definitely not cheap anymore. So it's, um, it's three, I think three nowadays. is like, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm sure you've got lots of stories from cheaper stuff from back in the day. Yeah. But you said you started 2006. So yep. a lot of the drift cars throughout the UK history of drifting, because 2004, yep. 2005, is that when it initially kind Pretty of stepped much. in I mean, the UK? Do you know what? I, I was in commercial signage for a very long time before that. So I left school. Yeah. And I actually left school and I was walking past a sign shop and they had a Montego oh, MG wow. yeah, and it yeah, had yeah. a sun visor being fitted and I'm like, that looks cool. So I left wow. there and I went straight there from school and then this is all I've ever done. But yeah, solely drift stuff since a kinda, Montego. My, yeah. my, my cousin's <laughs> mum had one of them when we were younger, a brown one, it was awful. Yeah. But yeah, that's so cool, man. Well, your workspace is absolutely amazing. And like I said, if anybody hasn't checked out my channel before, they'll uh, have not seen any of the Jap Japan adventures, but I got to go yeah. and see lots of small boutique shops like this that are so personalized to every individual yeah and i think this is what this one is so do you mind if i grab the camera and we have a look, around? Yeah, 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 yeah. Have look okay. around so as people come in the unit they will see this massive massive hot wheels well, i'm six foot four so <laughs> <laughs> It's a big old packet. <laughs> yeah, it's an actual Hot Wheels packet with the Violent D graphics on it as well. So I assume customers' cars get to be put in front of that once they've all been wrapped up. And yeah, I, I should utilise it a bit more. I'm, I'm terrible for remembering, but a few customers will be like, oh, can I get my car in front of it? You yeah. know, it's just... Uh, yeah. I think I want to bring my, my Nissan down and have that in front of it for yeah, sure. Because I think it looks so, so good. <laughs> not just that. This, so this is not where the Hot Wheels theme ends. We've also got something that is close to my heart. What, do you, what would you call this wall? Because I have a name for this sort of thing, I, and it's a joke. I don't. I, I would probably call it the sad old man wall. If okay, I'm okay, honest we're, with on you, but... same, we're on the same page. So I call these the wall of virginities. Yeah. So, so I had one of these in my old office um, that was just so so similar to this, where you've got some really weird, rare Hot Wheels and just cool JDM ones everywhere. And uh, yeah. it's just, I think, as if you grow up with Batman, a, Bowser's Oku car. Let's get that in focus. <laughs> I think if you grow up with Hot Wheels, yeah. it's very hard when you're an adult not to look at them still and be like, I kind of ruined I, millions of these. I It'd be nice to keep them on the shelf. You know, like just as like a little re reminder, because the way you've done this, so this is just like an MDF wall, I guess. Yeah, it? do you know what? When we moved in here, this, this whole place 
Uh, that wall there was completely through to next door, so this was just an old hay shed. Um, and we literally moved in, we boarded out all the walls, built the two mezzanines for not putting stuff up on. Um, and yeah, it was, just a, it was just a real love of mine to do something like this. Like you say, you know, in the Japanese garages, they're all so compact, there's always so much. And you know what, as much as I love Japan, I was meant to go to Japan twice and I still haven't been. Oh, and I love Japan, I get stuff, I get literally parcels from Japan monthly. Um, and yeah, I think next year will be the year that I get to go and oh, you do some skids at a base such, and... oh. Going back to the wall, this is yeah. how um, I'm going to actually be doing in my personal garage at home. Right. So I've got hundreds of these because yeah. in America they're 50 cents a car. Oh, okay. So I buy tons <laughs> of them when I go. But I'm going to do exactly the same thing you've got here, which I, I love this. I think this is so, so cool. Well, I just think you never grow out of it, do you? As, as a kid, you know, Hot Wheels as a kid, that's your first introduction to cool cars. You get Hot Wheels. I used to have thousands of them you know i used to line them around the bedroom yeah, and, and yeah. it's and it's kind of like as you're an adult you shouldn't really collect toy cars but i love it like what's, hey, who says you know? we shouldn't no I, I love it and i think a lot yeah. of people do as well and it's also like a cool thing i think that because at one point you could probably could have bought a load of these cars for two or three grand each and now they're all very expensive so <laughs> yeah, this is the only wrong. way that i'm gonna buy an rx7 so i'm gonna have all of them yeah <laughs> over here craig i've just put the camera down so i can be in here because i want people to see the size of this you, do you print these? Yeah, these are ones we printed ourselves. Um, there's a few around the um, workshop that we've done just for aesthetics on the wall. Yeah, yeah. oh man, these are like, honestly, one of my favorite things about your whole shop. <laughs> I love, you've got like the long champs, um, yeah. wheel posters. We've got tons of the option DVDs yeah. here. Um, an old school PlayStation 2, D1 Grand Prix game. I mean, that is old school as it gets, man. Like that yeah. is so cool. And well, I wanted to play that one, but you have to have a Japanese PS2, oh, so okay. I've not been able to use it, but I'd love to, yeah, I'd love so, to get one. I'm late to the drift party, really, because back okay. in these days, I was Honda, Honda, Honda. Honda, yeah. So, like, seeing stuff like this, to me, is like a relic, where I'm like, I miss this. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I miss this generation. Yeah. So, it's so cool to see something like... I'll put that one back at the front, because that's, that's like, super dope. That. So, another one I've seen on here is, I think, a lot of people's first introduction to maybe drifting, the streets racing side of stuff, the... the I think that's what got people, that the initial street drifting, I know, you know... Don't do street drifting, people, it's stupid. You, you know, you, everyone knows not to do street drifting, but that's where it started in the mountains, you know, and that's, that was the appeal for so many people, was to get out in your car. This was skid. also my first introduction to anime. Right. So I'd never ever read an anime before yeah. or even watched a cartoon. Um, but I actually managed to get hold, I've still got them, the first one to 27 volumes in UK. Really? Translated, That's yeah, really in English cool. translation. And uh, I read them back to front like you have to. And <laughs> I, I, I loved it, but I can't get the rest of them because it's so hard to come by. But um, the, the series, the cartoons, the movies, they're all actually really enjoyable. They're fun to watch yeah. and uh, really well put together. And I think that's something that can captivate someone. Is, is your hat the A86? It is, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it is. Yeah, um, yeah so... Uh, I think this can be something that really can captivate someone into drifting and into the, the street side. So I thought we shouldn't technically promote, but I guess if you're street drifting now, you must be rich anyway because the cars are worth so much money if you crash them. So, I mean, yeah. uh, you can probably afford them. You can't get away with it nowadays. No, you, you cannot. If, if you street away. drift nowadays, you will be caught. <laughs> yeah, everyone <laughs> wants to be a YouTuber until you go to prison. So. Yeah. <laughs> So you also make yes. your own decals for your brand. So the, Violent right. D is a brand as well. Yeah, so. I mean, Violent D initially started off as a brand as such. Um, I've got to be honest with you, back in the day, back in 2006, most people that know me will know I've owned pretty much every JDM car going. Um, and back then, I didn't really skid them. I was a bit of a lifestyler, if I'm honest with you. Um, you know, we had the cars, we didn't really skid them. Um, it's only the last, I'd say the last 10 years that I've really got into the drifting and obviously go try and go as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, back then it was all about the brand. It was all about the trying to get the stickers out there. Um, you know, and it was early BDC days that I was doing the cars for, and that's what kind of got the, got the ball rolling the for me. The passion started. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I, and I, you know, this is where I come from. I've always made stickers. I've always, and I always try to make cool stickers, you know, like I say to a lot of people, there's a lot of stuff that you see around the world, sticker-wise, not so not a big head, but they come from the stuff that I'd originally started, you know, like financial mistake stuff, all yeah, that yeah, sort yeah. of slogans. Because I was Dave Dot, I was kind of poting this stuff out everywhere. So, you know, there was a lot of it that kind of got utilised in other places. One thing I really like about your brand is that you do this very well, I think, and you'll see, I'm going to overlay some of the stickers for people to see, but 
you managed to almost have something for everybody. That comes from um, a love of just cars in general because like, I'm, I'm six foot four and 24 stone. I can't fit in an MX-5, but if I could, I'd have one. Yeah. So I just love anything, like any cars that are on the market that can be made skiddable, I'm just in for it. So yeah, I try and I try and all of like MX-5 gang, V8 gang, people hate V8s, so I love them. Like, I think they're great. And, and you know, just, just in general, I think there's, there's something for everyone, so. I, I also th feel like um, the variety of life of cars comes yep. from growing up as well. I think you sometimes can be well into only one thing and then yeah. you experience something else. Cause I had that with my own personal drift experience. I was super Honda only. Right. And then I went to the BDC at Driftland and I was like, wait, what is, this is legal? Where is health and safety? Like, what is going on? And I, I can remember saying that to someone. I was yeah. like, where is health and safety? And they were like, oh no, it's drifting, bro. And I was like, yeah. I need a drift car. I was like, why have I not been trying this? I think, I think the thing is with drifting, it's, it's, it's almost ASBO, isn't it? It's so yeah, antisocial, yeah. the drifting side of things, because the noise and the tire smoke. But okay, there's just nothing that gets your adrenaline. Like, I used to race motocross as a kid. And I've always said there's nothing that kind of gets me like drifting. It's a yeah. similar sort of exhilaration it's, it's, and being out of control, but in control, you know, it's kind yeah. of, it's the best feeling ever. I, I 100%. So. so I have to point out, you've got the, uh, the old option videos playing in the background. So customers yeah. can come and chill while their car's being worked on, I guess, and yeah. picking them up. And yeah. then you've got the, uh, the old option videos. And as we came in, there was a Civic EG drifting on here. I've seen a silver them. one. Yeah. And he, uh, he crashed and it was absolutely hilarious. And I was like, <laughs> someone's probably gonna pay 15 grand for that on the yeah. auction soon. <laughs> So this part of the shop, the unit, what would you call this? A unit or a shop or a garage or? A bit of both, I think. It's, it's a bit of, a bit of everything. everything. It's got a bit yeah. of a free for all, so. Yeah. <laughs> is, uh, this is where you can actually come in and buy stuff. This yeah. is the stock, uh, all available on your website. And you've got yep. some really, I mean, right now, it's probably the, the sparsest I've seen it. But yeah. I have to point out this as well. I sound like I work for you. <laughs> um, I, but I only know this because I bought off you recently as well. You had a massive sale on. Yep. So you'll have cleared out loads of your stuff. I bought a few bits off you as well. Yep. I'm really grateful you sorted out the HKS mask for me. No, that was, I was going to say that mask. actually. I've got the HKS mask now. I, when I saw those come out, I think yep. it was on a Noriaro video. Yep. I was like, how do I get one of those? And they're like, oh no, it's Japan only. And then you had it. sold instantly. <laughs> I was like, I need one. <laughs> so I managed to get one of those. But um, yeah, what's some of the bits we've got here now? I see we've got some cool bags. and yep. like, It's all like the accessories and stuff that you do really well here and, and get hold of and... Uh... Do you know what? I've, I, I obs I'm obsessed with like little trinkets and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like yeah. for me, stuff that's smalls that can go uh -huh. on a wall, that can go in your office. It's lovely having big stuff like bonnets and stuff like that, but little bits for me for are, sure. are what it's out. I mean, like this Valino, um, Abu Moon N style Valino bag, you know, yeah, like yeah, that for yeah. me is really just like cool. the coolest thing. Um, and you know, we, we try and solve stuff like, you know, we had a bit, we had a bit of a mix up. When you placed your order with the mask, I, I messaged you. Yeah, yeah. And bearing in mind, I was really panicking because my website didn't update mm -hmm. and it sold two items. And I was thinking, oh my God, I know <laughs> they sold out in Japan. So I messaged the supplier and I said, look, is there any way you can source me any more of them HKS masks? Mm -hmm. And he said, we've got two left, that is it. And so I was like, I've just, got to get one for yeah. Adam. When you, so, when you sent me a message, yeah. he voice noted me, which I really appreciated because my, I, when I see a message coming, I kind of prang out a little bit. I got a bit of anxiety. So I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and you were like, look, man, I'm really sorry, but I haven't got this mask. I was like, no, because I knew it was like the last chance I had to get one. Yeah. Um, and obviously this Corona stuff, it might be calming down a little bit and restrictions, but I, I still like wearing face masks, not because of anything, but it just means I don't spit on people when I talk. <laughs> just, uh, you know, I like wearing them. I think they're kind of like a fashion accessory to yeah. me now. And uh, when I got the HKS one, you were like, no, don't worry, I've managed to source you another one. I was like, my guy, Craig. I was like, what a, what a guy. We try, man, we do what try. A... So what else have we got um, here? We've got some wheels, are these? Uh, VSKFs, yeah, these, these was initially gonna go on my wife's car, um, but the fronts needed a rebuild. Um, and I was, you know, the price of stuff, oh. man, at the moment. So I was like, do you know what? We found the um, SSR, Vienna Courages mm -hmm. that are on it now. Mm -hmm. um, we'll and show you those in a moment. Yeah. Or overlay them or whatever. Like we'll, <laughs> have, we'll have a look at the cars in a minute, yeah. Um, but yeah, we put them on there and then these have actually gone to a gentleman in Holland. Oh. He builds some really cool cars. Like he's got some really cool stuff. Sweet. Um, but yeah, what I mean, all, all, the, all the other bits in here is like, you know, I try and get a lot of signed stuff. I'm a massive Nomura fan uh -huh. um, from Euro. So we've got like signed flasks and uh, signed document folders, all the D1 stuff, you know, D1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Wolverines. Yeah. Well, I bought a D1 t-shirt off him as well. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I, I love all this stuff, man. Oh, you've got a Thrash Racing steering wheel. Can I pick that up? Yeah, the, um, the middle bit's probably loose on it. But yeah, yeah that, was, um, that was actually in my, uh, that was in my Laurel. That was in my C33 Laurel. Um, but we got that back, actually, off the guy. And um, yeah, that's, I don't have to put it in my new car or if someone's going to have it. I think this is a really cool it. piece. I, I, do you know what? I love fresh racing stuff. We've just ordered the fresh racing pink one, the I Love You Pink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's, and we've also just ordered the Navuri up there as well. So yeah, I, I like fresh racing stuff. I think it's really cool. I think they are too. I think this is a cool, a cool <laughs> brand. Um, and it's kind of universally loved within the car community, I find. It's not just drifters that run this. Well, like Honda, a lot of Honda guys run the fresh racing stuff I've seen in the cars. I've seen quite a lot of Honda guys running fresh racing bits. There's, yeah, there's and even problem. Volkswagens as well. Vol I've yeah. seen Volkswagen guys yeah. running all that stuff as well. Yeah, um, so, yeah, if anybody wants any of this stuff, Violent's website will be linked so you can go and uh, have a look. We've also got some really cool magazines, man, all in packages as well, like old yeah. comic books. Like, I just want to show people this one up close. Like, Got the old A86 from Tech Heart on there. <laughs> There's just loads of cool memorabilia right. and. G Works in general are like my favourite magazines from Japan. G Works are all old school Japanese metals. You've got the old school laurels, um, like Akoska Skylines, 240s. It's just, it's just packed full of old school Japanese metal. So. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. I love these magazines. There. So cool. So we've also got these absolutely mega banners. Now, just from the colours on that one, it looks like an up garage. Is it? It's not an up garage. It's I not. These, these are all Japanese stocks. So all of these, um, these ones here are the more generic ones that you get for like car sales. I've just had two come in this week, actually. I've got another, there's another eight different designs arriving from Japan next week. But like this is... What's that got on? That's got an R32 on it. Um, but you know, these are, these are all Japanese stock. Oh, cool, um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, that's, that's the more generic stuff. All of this stuff up here um, is all stuff like I just absolutely love. I mean, um, you know, like Fresh Racing, Time, um, Toyo, and the back ones are probably my prize, my prize in the boris, man. That's, um, that's signed by Naoki Nakamura oh, uh, from N-Style. Garage Mac has also been signed. I, you probably won't see it on the camera, but I can um, I can see it. Next you can to see, the, yeah, the uh, Wedge yeah, Maverick banner is signed by all of the D1 drivers at D1 oh, Abisu event amazing. in 2020. But yeah, man, it's um, yeah, I just I just love Japanese culture. I, I love it. It's uh, it just makes your garage look amazing. Oh, like thanks, the, man. I appreciate the, it. The second you walk in and you see all of that, you're like, oh man, this isn't <laughs> like what I'm used to. This is cool. Yeah. Mobile One. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? In my, that's, a, that's a bit of a strange one, actually. In, in, my, in my old days of doing commercial signage, we used to take down a lot of like petrol garages, do all the stuff like that, and we got to keep anything we took down because they oh, was going to really? scrap them. And I wish that I'd had a big lockup full of it, but at the time, you didn't think, and you yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. you know, you were scrapping the alley in for bits and pieces because of for the company. But no, I, I wish I'd kept a lot yeah, of them. Yeah, because... that's so cool to yeah. see. And the uh, the little sign next to it is that one you've made, or is that, that that is? Yeah, I made that one. It's, it's to be honest with you, this one was a bit um, controversial because um, it's, it's it's fuck you, sad boy. You might have to bleep that out. <laughs> no, 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 no bleeps um, on the channel. This wasn't. Everyone thought this was aimed at sad boy racing. Oh right, okay. And because this was very similar font and now i didn't even know who sad boy racing was it's like i put that design up on online because everyone was complaining about the state of uk drifting oh it's dead it's this and that and i'm like this is why i put you know boohoo i'm so sad you go do a skid yeah, yeah because yeah. if you want to drift in the uk we're going in april we've got two private days at driftland in april and that's scotland you know you've been there multiple times yeah. it's a good eight nine hour drive from here but it's the sickest track to go and skid at. That really is great. And, yeah. you know, people say, oh, about America, there's, there's tons of paints that they can drift in America. You're not seeing they're driving sometimes 14, 15 hours to get to these tracks. Yeah. And everyone in the UK is like, oh, it's dead. There's a Teesside day on in 15 days. To drift I did at Three Teesside. Sisters a couple of weeks ago. Three yeah. Sisters. You know, all these tracks are amazing in the UK. And, all right, you know, Santa Pod, people say about the bumpiness of Santa Pod, but it's still a place to go and do a skid. Yep. So, and it's every month. So drifting isn't dead. You've just got to travel or pre-book the dates to drift. And I think the, we are very lucky that, I know we don't have huge amounts of tracks, but the ones no. we do do, they are great. Like I'm going up to Teesside in a few weeks yep. once I'm back from snowboarding. So it'll be next month. And 
I can't wait. Teesside is amazing. Great. Do you know what? Great. It's just doing a skid, isn't it? like you say, just go do a skid. Like... The first time I drifted at Teesside, I was like, man, this place is cool as yeah. hell. Like, this is so cool. But yeah, no, I just, I just think that, um, you know, if people want a skid, you'll go and do a skid. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Moving on, if you just wander down a little bit, yep. we've got more of these amazing, what looks like magazine prints blown up and they just yep. look so cool. These ones here, I actually got from the G-Works mags. Oh, so okay. I don't know if it's technically legal, but I, 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 I mean, don't. you're not selling them. So I think I'm not selling them, they're yeah. up on my wall. Um, and do you know what? I love, I love old school Japanese metal. That is my thing, you know, like, you know, I had yeah, the C33 yeah. Laurel I'll, with the shark nose. I'll put a photo on for people to see, because I on. really wanted to feature that car, but when I messaged you, you'd sold it already. I, I know, like, oh. I'm a nightmare. I, I chop and change cars yeah. so fast, but um, yeah, I just, I just love anything like that. You know, Bozozoku style, mixed with drift is like, just Perfect. cool, man. Cool, right, shall we finally talk about these cars in the middle then? Yeah, sure, Let's man. Let's start yeah. with your other half's car, shall yes. we? This one has changed since I last saw it a little while ago. <laughs> So yeah. what's going on with this then? Because this wasn't a kooky front end. No, this was this was a Zenki front end. It was Zenki, wasn't it? It, yeah. it was Zenki, um, and my missus didn't like the Zenki. She wanted to go kooky, um, and then I've got my 14, which is being built at the moment, which isn't here, which is sad, um, but that isn't here at the moment. Mine's going Zenki. So oh. <laughs> we're all kind of chopping <laughs> changes. Brilliant. Um, but yeah, no, this, do you know what? This is turning out so much better than I thought it was going to turn out. I love, I love a simple styled street car. Um, you know, my, my car is almost a little bit too far past where I would go normally because okay. it's a big fiberglass base. Like, it's not okay. usually my thing. Okay. Although this has got over fenders, it's all been rear tubbed and stuff so we can run like 11 and a half J carriages on there and it's um, nice and low. It's just, it, it's, it's just, you This know, is really nice. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. Like, it's, it's, we've just gone for like a, a kooky rear bumper with the spats. Uh, Navan skirts and we went for the kooky front bumper um, but this is near enough there now to be honest with you there isn't a lot more we're going to do for it we've got the roof spoiler over there um, got to repair the bonnet mm -hmm. and then this is going for paint next week actually is it same color or are we not allowed to no 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 not same color okay. we're, we're doing the whole car a pearl white with a pink Ooh. flip oh okay so nice. it's just going to be a little bit girly for her she loves this thing and then you can see the big box of driftwork stuff over there that's all for this as well cool there's a Blitz front mount, Blitz nurse spec R exhaust, and then she's got all the uprated LED rear lights, front lights, stuff like that. So mega, should be a nice car. Is it staying the same gearbox and engine and stuff? Do you know like what? That? This is at the moment. This is an auto. Um, we've got the manual gearbox over there to swap it out. Um, so yeah, we'll be going manual. Yeah, um, cool. Initially. Did you buy that at the same time I bought mine? Same guy. Same guy. Yeah, Joe, yeah, 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 um, yeah. yeah. Six nine outlaws over in. Uh, and Clapton. I have to give them a massive shout out as well because they are sticking with fair pricing. They're yeah, good they guys. They are really nice guys. I'm, they are super, super good, yep. good, good, good dudes. So I really, they really appreciate it. They're the sort of people that you can tell love drifting because they're not trying to profit. Well, they're, they're, they're very much of an old school know. brain, you know. They've right. got like... We're all the same. That, we're from that same Corollas, E30s, yeah. all these things that they love, you know, and it's just, it's just cool, man. It's keep cool it within stuff. the fact the drift family and everyone can yeah. keep skidding. That's kind of like the general the yeah. general vibe. And it was always the same with the Hondas for me. But um, I see you've got the pink thrash racing wheel yeah, in there Yeah, thrash well. racing wheels in there, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, a new the one. Love hearts on there. Yeah, that's. So cool. <laughs> I tell you, I love these cars, man. I really, really do. And is yeah. it, and is it, has she still got a chaser as well? Or? No, she sold. Uh, she had a JZ Hundred one. Mark Two. Mark Two. That's. Um, what, oh, they're not a chaser, are they? Sorry. Not, what, <laughs> they're a chaser, but yeah, they're not a chaser. They're not a chaser. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, no. She sold that because that was an auto. Um, Scott from Six Nine Outlaws. Oh, he's he he's bought it and he cool. has spent a fortune on it. Like okay. it's all now manual converted. Oh, uh, Sick lock, like loads of cool stuff on it. He's done. He's done loads. It's going to be awesome. Amazing. Um, but no, we only sold that because the prices nowadays to even manual convert a one J is yes. just insane. So it's hard, um, but. You got something really cool here. Yeah, man. She just wanted a nice car that she could go on the street and just have, you know, have a bit of fun with. Yeah, fast definitely. road. Will she take it to any shows or anything like that? Do you think? She might do some shows. We're not. We yeah. don't tend to do the shows, no. but in this we probably might um, when it's done. Um, cool. Yeah, I'll probably get mine out some throughout definitely. the year. Well, but you keep mentioning yours, and we can't show them that today. But maybe we can come back and show them the finished article, and then yours. We're nearly done. A couple of weeks, and that'll be done. And that yeah. is that is one mega fourteen. That is. Cool. That don't is, say anything more. I won't say anything it. yet. But people can hit subscribe, hit like, and then they can come back in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? We'll, uh, well, we'll do it when this is painted. So we can do both. Of them yeah, together. two together. That's a great idea. Bang on. Right. Shall we show them the this beast? That's the new one. <laughs> Craig, what is this? Right. <laughs> this is this is my new one. Um, 
Although we've got the 14, I had an E30 years ago, and I've always loved them, and I saw this, this was Scott's, over at 69 Outlaws in Clacton. Um, shout out the boys. Yeah, shout out the boys again. <laughs> um, this one here is fully caged, um, all inside the door bars, you know, door yeah, bars inside the doors, it's just, Everything that I would want to do to an E30, and I love a Touring because I started off skidding in a 36 Touring. Oh, okay. So cool. it's a bit nostalgic for me. Um, there's nothing in the engine at the moment. There was an M3 on trumpets in here. Um, Joe's nicked that for a 36. And this for me was going to be the cheap, <laughs> the cheap skid car. Just going to whack a 2.8 in it, go for some drift days. But I'm already looking at S50 M3 lumps. Oh. I'm looking at... M50 turbocharged lumps. That's probably the route I'm going to go is an M50 turbo because the boys in Poland do some amazing turbo kits for these. Yeah. I have to just say as well, if anybody's tuning in because they saw the title of the video or anything like that, and they're not so much into the modified cars like, like this. So I can vouch for Craig. He's not crazy. I've done exactly the same thing. I've got a BMW <laughs> back home that if you haven't seen, it's a project that we've just started on the channel. And uh, it's a 36 coupe that owes me zero pounds and I took it off the road to do rear bushings <laughs> and it's going to be a full build from just taking... I haven't even took it apart yet. I was like just building the new things up and I was like, you know, do you know what, this will look really cool with over fenders and oh, we can tidy up the engine van. The interior needs to... It needs a roll cake. Right. And it just ha it, this just happens when this is the hobby. I'm That's just glad say, that like... my wife is in the garage because <laughs> every car that I get, like from when I was... 18, I've been with my, my sister since I was 18, and every single car I'm like, babe, this car, it's 99% done. All I need to do is put a set of wheels on it and I'll just drive it. I and she's she, like, right-o. I don't think she needs to be in the garage. She just knows that she already knows. You can probably hear her screaming from the house, but um, yeah, no, this, this really was going to be a simple project. And to be fair, even if I do M50 turbo this car, all right, M50s used to be 200, 300 quid, and they're about a grand now. But the turbo kits on these things are about four thousand pound, and that is everything. I'm talking new plenum, mm -hmm. exhaust, um, ECU, turbo front mount, the lot, and it pushed it to about four fifty to well, they they can tune them to a thousand brake on wow. them. It, it is nuts. It is insane. Wow. But four hundred brake is comfortable, reliable, plenty fast, of power. Fast in this. In a in an E30, you know, it's just um. Now what wheels are we running on here? Because these are cool. These these are snowflakes. I think they're off a um, Trans Am initially. Um, sorry, I ain't got no steel on it, but yeah. No, 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 fine. Can you see it? <laughs> oh, well, I'll put the camera up. Yeah, at the moment. Yeah. yeah. No, these are snowflakes. Um, 15 by 8J. Um, just yeah, just super cool old school wheels. Um, I probably won't. I probably won't change much on the outside. I'll probably neaten all the arches up, get it fully resprayed in black again, so it looks fresh. And then this will be the oh, the man. bash about skid car. So yeah, it'd be it'd be pretty cool, man. I'm uh, I'm I'm super excited to run this actually. Do you know who did the cage? Sorry, uh, yeah, cage. He said cage works. I don't know the guys, but they have done a mega job. I mean, even sorry, I'll just take this bonnet off for you. Oh, See, they've gone right the way through. Oh wow, yeah, the strut tops. So, yeah, strut tops are all wow. done. Um, yeah, they've, they've just done a really nice job of it. It's, it's a really, really nice job. And uh, plenty of room for activities for them turbos to go <laughs> in there. So <laughs> Definitely, man. But yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be a sick car when it's done. That's awesome, man. So there's one more thing we need to show people. Yes. That's your, they might have seen it while we've been walking around, but uh, <laughs> let me grab the camera and we'll show them. No worries. The, the final piece de resistance. <laughs> if we look down on the floor right now, <laughs> we've got Japanese streets. What are these for? Well, in lockdown, um, we was so bored that I was thinking to myself, do you know what, we had an Advan style painted floor in here and, and it was such a massive area to utilize. And I was like, let's paint an RC track. I think Joey, you know, Joey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, um, he said, I've got an RC car, let's do some RC skids. And I'm like, yeah, it sounds a great idea. So we painted the track out and ever since then, it's just been, you know, it's been a great thing. There's like seven or eight of us come over with the cars it's, it's filthy at the moment. This, this floor is usually gleaming, um, but it's, it's an active workshop. You know, we're stripping cars, we're building cars, we're doing all sorts of stuff in here, and it's just got a bit grubby. But yeah, come, I think we were talking about doing one in a few weeks. Once the weather warms up, we're going to get a few of the lads over, do a barbecue, Mega. do some RC skids. It's, it's great, good fun. Mega. Love it, man, love yeah, it. Yeah, good fun. Coolest thing I've ever seen in my <laughs> life, and I can't believe I missed it. You guys might have caught it on the camera down here, but look at this. This is a little up garage. That's amazing. 
And this is all part for, uh, for the uh, decoration of yeah, the... Yeah, for the RC drift cars. Um, it's really cool, actually. We've got some um, cool shots of all the cars parked outside. We're going to do, like, uh, we're going to do the tofu shop from Initial, Initial D. D. We're going to do a Hello Kitty shop so everyone oh. can park on the different cars outside, man. That but, yeah, yeah it's pretty cool, man. This is, a, this is a JDM car, guys. Heaven, I feel. <laughs> Heaven. I love it. Brilliant. I have to thank Craig at Violent D so much for allowing me down today, dude. You're still mic'd up, so if you want to see No me. problem, man. No, no. Anytime. You're <laughs> yeah. welcome anytime. Yeah, I, uh, I love it here. I come down occasionally. I don't get here as much as I wish I could, because obviously work and life is in the way as well. But it's been great that he's been able to be my first episode of Dream Garages. So this is going to be a series I'm going to try and work on on the channel. If you have any collections you want to show off, it would be amazing to see. It doesn't just have to be JDM. I'm going to put this out there because this is like my weird little fetish thing at the moment. But I love Peugeots, right? <laughs> like, I love old Peugeots. If you've got any rallies, GTIs or anything, collectors, let me know. I really want to come on down and have a look. Um, they've become my new little thing. But anyway, I want to get back to this real quick. I think this place is amazing. And it, I'll be honest, it's better than some of the JDM garages that I visited when I was out there. The, the collection of stuff he's got is amazing. Um, and I really hope you've enjoyed the video. So if you have, please subscribe, give the video a share, show some of your JDM car fans, maybe they'll love it. And maybe they'll even come and get a livery done down here by Craig himself um, that you can hit up his website for to get in touch with him. So thank you very much, guys. Please hit subscribe. I'll see you again next time. Peace.